The kids. All right, y'all. Hopefully, you all can hear when you come in. I have, oh, I have no idea what's going on with my phone. But listen, y'all. Just in case you had to twist it, get it untwisted. We are here to get Ethan out of jail. Hold on. We here to get Ethan out of jail. This is money from the Freedom Fund doing exactly what it was asked to do. I want to get some food. Get man. Money we home. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got nothing to say about none of that. So, so listen, listen y'all. We here to get money out the Freedom Fund. And I mean, we got, I mean to get Ian out with the Freedom Fund. And y'all couldn't hear me a minute ago, but this is what I told the family in here. Everybody was crying, breaking down, all emotional and upset. And I'm saying that I am not even mad no more. I'm, 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 not, I'm even moving past the hurt. Because at the end of the day, we just got to remember what we accomplished together. And, and now, we all stuck together. And no family in this country or no anywhere should be left alone in a situation. But now we just got to be a little bit more careful. Don't tell me not to have no camera. I'm going to have a camera with everything. I'm going to have paperwork and microphone and everything. And so we are family now. We stuck together. It's not over. We are going to overcome this. This made us stronger. And this whole ordeal, we didn't have stuff come at us from all different ways. And none of it has been able to defeat us. We've been strong through everything. And we're going to stay that way. So even now, there's some young lady, they say it's bashing me. Guess what? I don't care. And even now, there's another young lady, they say that's accusing me of a heinous crime. Guess what? I don't care. When you are really challenging the system and you're effective in it, you better know that they're going to do something to come back for you. And that was too damn powerful. I remember when Malcolm X told all those black people to move. And when they, and they moved, you know what they said? On, that man. Negro got too much power. And they went to dismantle him. And so all of these people in here, they got too much power in Rosemont. This is a mob syndicated town. We coming against millions of dollars. I knew, man, how are we working in cahoots with anybody? I bet not ever get no ticket in Rosemont. <laughs> Who got a pen? Okay, thank you. You gonna miss us? Absolutely. You gonna miss us? <laughs> you said, oh, y'all was tired of us coming to Rosemont. Tell us. Uh, can you just print all that info? Right. That's 200. Yeah, uh, we don't have change here. I don't got no change. Don't you do that? That cue you take it from the freedom fund. Freedom from where you find out ain't no change. This is 150. You're good. Yeah, I know it's 150. I'm just trying to make sure you're on top of the game. No, I know. I know how to count. Oh, okay. They so happy we getting up out of Rosemont. I'm sorry. Everybody, look, everybody meet at the joint. <laughs> <laughs> everybody, even about, even about drinks. We won, we won. Hey, man, so look, we right. here. Listen, at the end of the day, say what the hell you want to. We did exactly what we said we going to do. We even here getting him out now. And so, wait. You going to no, leave it right here. You going to say something? This a tip for You ain't talk. Put it on the phone. Okay, wait. I want to talk. I want to. This is. Can I? You gonna, you going to say something? You change your mind? You want to say something? Okay. Well. Let them both say something. But you will attest that I opened up my home. Okay. All right. So this is one of the young ladies who, who, who I. Can you just tell them? My name is Jamila, and this is my son, my son Tony. And Jedediah opened up his home for us. And he's fed us. He's gonna sleep there. We can bath there. Everything. So, and he didn't ask us for anything. Thank you so much, Queen. Wait a minute. Can, can you tell us what you saw today with Chino? You feel like it? if you don't, you don't have to. No, right, we. I don't care. Um, yesterday, Sheena was addressing Mama Teresa about the ledgers, the money, what's going in, what's going out. That you heard. All three y'all can sit down and go over the funds right. and. I, didn't even know that. I believe that was her sister or whoever was standing there like being real negative, like what's going on, what y'all doing, you know, just, just just being real negative. And Sheena kept explaining what she wanted to do. 
And, and, it was just and, negative, let me say, and it was just very negative. But energy. let me say. And now that's a witness. Let me say this. And then mama spoke to me this morning and apologized for the negativity and asked me personally to continue on. Okay? So not only did I offer her the money that was in the fund to assist in paying for the funeral in the event that she wanted it for that, I also offered her money out of my own account to pay for it because she said she did not have it. So, you know, let's, and, let's get it right. And guys, this isn't rehearsed or anything because she didn't even know I heard what I heard. I just told her a while ago that I heard what I heard. She didn't even know I heard it. I didn't know you heard. I, I didn't even, what you just said is the exact same thing Sheena said to me. That she said that she asked that we could all sit down and get and talk about the letter. So you know I because the family for whatever reason started bugging up on me and I was confused. And I and, and all of that is on camera. It's on his camera. It's all on camera. Man, that is so crazy, man. But but just like I just told wait, who? You wanna say something? Like I say, I'm just at a loss for words right now. First off, I just want to say rest in peace to Kanika. We all came out here to show support. People came from across the country. And it's like, man, it just all went down the drain. So whatever's really going on, Mother Teresa, like for you to switch up like that, I just hope the truth comes out. Like I say, money, the love of money is the root of all evil. If, them, if these people paying you to shut up and keep it moving, then that's bogus on your daughter's behalf. So like I say, rest in peace to Kanika. And I hope she gets us. That's what we, we are. That's what we all came. We're here for Kanika. We're here for Kanika. We're here for and so, but, but and I want to say that I'm gonna say we never. And so what I what we did was we asked mom if we could create the fund because we didn't want to take away from the funds that they was getting for the funeral, the autopsy, lawyers, all that stuff. So we said, can we create the fund? And at no time, on no record, will you be able to find me saying that this money that is being raised is for Kanika. I specifically said, with mom's blessing, this money is raised for those who are fighting for Kanika. We not only wanted to make sure that they eat, get travel, that they get bonded out of jail, but we wanted to make sure that they get attorneys when they go to court and make sure that they get their records expunged because nobody should be... What's up, man? Uh-uh, give me up out of here. Give me up out of here. Uh-uh, y'all, y'all, hell yeah, you ain't finna get me locked up. Get me up out of there. I'll be the first one they grab. Hey, I wanna... Okay, so look. I wanna, hold on, I wanna ask... I wanna ask you, I wanna ask you some questions, bro. Now, he been in lockup and I have not seen him. The first question I wanna ask you is, do you mind saying where you been staying? Uh... You've been staying at my house, and could, did I did, did you get any money from me? No, sir. So this is the question I want to know. Today, when we was when, before before you got on the train, was something wrong with me? Was something wrong with me? Was oh, I upset? Oh yeah, you was upset. Yeah, yeah. Could you tell? So you tell them what I was upset about? Um, you was upset uh, due to some of the decisions that the family had made after everything he has done, welcome people in his home, bail people out of jail, uh, support, uh, supported the protest, Facebook Live, and some decisions was made. I don't know what decisions, but it was kind of just hurtful for him. And um, just, uh, he was upset about it, hurt. And then I say I'm still supporting them from the background? Still gonna support them, yeah, still. still and then I dropped you off at the train so you can go? Yes. Okay, so I'm telling you, you can't get it, and I can't, you can't get it no more clear than that. So I'm gonna help y'all out. I'm not worried about the noise and all of the extra accusations. But I said this before. This is the very thing that drove me to wanting to take my life when I was out there on Lakeshore Drive. I know a lot of y'all that saw that video. I wanted to take my a life because I had literally given so many years of my life for service in the city of Chicago. It was very hard to do. And I kept losing jobs, losing. People kept attacking me. They kept putting out bad stuff about me. They kept telling me, saying my motives was wrong. It just kept building and building and building. Certain people that were activists have, had conspired and done stuff against me. 
and I couldn't understand as a man of faith. I lost my faith in God. I had stopped pastoring. And I just, I remember sitting in that bed saying, God, how could you possibly let all this happen to me? And I, I had to leave the city, get myself together. And when I was out of town, I got a call from another advocate. I came, got on the plane because I saw the stuff in the news. I got on the plane and I came here and I watched God. I watched God for the first time in my entire life of advocacy, not let my message be hijacked, not let people take my character without there being a response. I, I saw people come all over the world for what my message has always been. It's been unity, it's been exhaust all options of diplomacy, but when it's exhausted by any means necessary, defend yourself. I, I, I clearly did it with wisdom, how I interacted with the police, how I interacted with the family, how I interacted with the protesters. You never heard me say I was the representative for the family. It was even misprinted in the newspaper. And I got on here and I made it clear. I said, I am not the, fa the spokesperson for this family. I'm echoing what, the, what, what Mama Teresa is saying. And I stood by this family every step of the way. Even when all the bullshit went down, I did not abandon them. And so, what am I saying? I'm saying that I remember sitting in that on my bedside after having wanted to take my life with all my strength depleted, hearing all these people saying that I'm mentally ill, thinking about all the work that I've done, feeling like it was nothing, and I didn't think God had, was going to don't, don't do anything. I didn't think he was going to do anything. But what I'm going to tell you when this is that this I'm like a broken knuckle because once you break a knuckle, when it's healed, it's stronger, and I'm ready for another punch. And so I say this to everybody across America and the world who has supported this. Listen to me. Don't stop doing good by people. We never expect a thank you. And no matter what they say, in some strange way, God has a way of vindicating you. And this time, when the bullshit came, I wasn't by myself. I had people who were witnesses and have been standing all alone and I had video to prove it every step of the way. And like I said, for those who are on here that don't know or don't remember, go back and look at Mama Teresa's video. She said that I heard about a fund two days ago that's been public the whole time. I didn't know that this fund was there. And then she said, but they said, but they said they still got over $2,000 left. That day was us because we were doing exactly what we told you we were going to do. Now, because it's on here, I got to address it because there's so many allegations. It's the very same thing, and I'm putting this on the record. And she got to go to court for coming up here acting a fool. And I'm asking I'm ask my family to respond to this. There is no way, shape, form, or fashion that there is any truth that I would mishandle Travis Mensah, who meant the absolute world to me. I'm saying this on record. That boy meant the world to me. He got, I got his pictures in my room. I, 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 it, let, me, let me say this. She ain't never made that accusation. I ain't never been arrested. She ain't never sent me to court. And she is bogus. But it's okay. Because I never thought that I would have to fight for his legacy, but I got proof. When you lie on my place in his legacy, I got proof. When you do wrong, you will be exposed. So all these people that's doing that talking, the reason why I'm still moving, knowing that she gonna do bull crap like that, the reason I still say his name is because it's not true. It's not true. But do, the, do your research. Y'all did real good with that Facebook research. That girl is bipolar and schizophrenic. That girl had her children take away from her by the state of Indiana, by DCFS in Michigan City. And I'm not going to say nothing else because I'm going to be taking her to court for defaming my character as well. All right? Sometimes even your family will lie on you and do you wrong. But when you know who you are, you keep on going. And no matter how painful every step is, every step of the way, keep on doing it and watch God do the increase and the vindicate. Chicago! Anybody got something to say? Hey, be trip. Trip. We love you, yeah, Chicago. Y'all don't say it with me? Uh, yeah. Come on, let's say it. Chicago, Chicago you be... Uh, no, 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 no. We said it all wrong. <laughs> we tied. Y'all ready? <laughs> come on, come on. You ready? We ready. Let's get this. I got, come on, everybody, everybody get in here. Get in here. Make it a come selfie on, or whatever. Make, hey, we all here. Y'all here? We family. We Y'all ready? Let's get it. Y'all ready? One, three, two, one. Chicago, we love you. America, 
Sometimes you be tripping, but we love you too.